Before the video starts, I just want to let you guys know that we are actually giving away a free PS4 and Xbox One at the end of the month. To enter into the giveaway, all you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and comment that you subscribed to win. Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy District Trending here bringing you guys this brand new video and today we're going to be bringing you guys 10 facts that every Lil Yachty fan should know. Now before we get into this video, I just want to give a huge thank you to everyone watching this video because if you aren't aware, we actually just hit 30,000 subscribers on the channel today. So huge thank you to everyone who has been supporting the channel, you know, watching the videos and stuff like that. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. So in honor of us hitting 30k subscribers today, I'm going to have a free Amazon gift card code in this video for my viewers i'm gonna hide it pretty well though so everyone has a per, like a good chance of finding it even though if like the video has been out for two days so if you want to go find that good luck to you i hope you do find it and if you do find it i want you guys to send a screenshot of the code and send it to me on twitter because i want to know who actually won so anyways guys before we get into the video as always i gotta give notification shout out of the video that is going to my boy knight shout out to you man thank you so much for having the channel notifications on if you yourself would like a channel notification at the start of my next video all you have to do is leave a like on this video turn on channel notifications and comment down below saying notification squad to be entered and for a shout out to help you grow your channel and also if you are new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button as well let me know down in the comments below saying you subscribed and i'll personally reply to you and go check out your channel and possibly even subscribe to you so let's get straight into this video guys we're going to be doing 10 facts that every Lil yachty fan should know so Lil yachty is a rapper and singer who actually became best known for his hit song One Night. Other tracks found on his popular SoundCloud account includes Minnesota Hollywood, Die By Myself, and Water On My Face. Lil Yachty was actually born on August 23rd, 1997, which is absolutely insane because he's only a year older than I am and he is doing the things that he's doing and he made a huge name for himself. He was born in Georgia, United States, and Yachty also has a net worth of over $3 million, which is absolutely insane seeing how he's only a year older than I am. It kind of gives me motivation to keep pushing and stuff like that with, you know, reaching my goals because he's literally a year older than I am and he has millions of dollars. So now that you know a little bit about Lil Yachty, I'm going to go into the 10 facts that every Lil Yachty fan should know. So I obviously had to put this as number 10 seeing as like this is actually really sick. I don't see many rappers doing this kind of thing with getting sponsorship deals like this, but Lil Yachty actually did a huge sponsorship deal with the company named Target that made him millions of dollars. Now I guarantee you or your parents obviously probably shop at Target especially if you live in the United States because that's where it's mostly you know big there so yeah for everyone who doesn't know Lil Yachty actually did a huge commercial sponsorship deal with the company Target I had to put that as number 10 just because I was actually watching TV one day and then I just seen his commercial come on screen and it was actually cool and that's what actually made me want to make this video Alright guys, so for the ninth fact, Lil Yachty's song One Night, which actually was a huge reason why he blew up like he did, was actually recorded in his closet with a sock mic. So if not everyone watching this probably knows what a sock mic is, but if you make videos and stuff like that, you would probably know. But pretty much, your microphone you make videos with, me personally, I don't do this because I don't really see a big difference. So what a sock mic is, is pretty much it's a mic with a sock over it, which kind of acts like a pop filter. If you guys don't know what a pop filter is, when you're saying like a word into the mic and the word starts with the letter p you'll hear this loud like sound like it sounds kind of like a pop which is the name pop filter it just pretty much gets like it just takes that away anyways guys so for the eighth fact this one was actually really cool and i didn't even know this myself so i guess lil yachty was actually in kanye west fashion show it's really crazy to think just because how big kanye west is and how small lil yachty was at the time of this but yeah, Lil Yachty was actually in Kanye West's fashion show. Just because Kanye West liked his style of his hair and stuff like that, he thought he would fit well with his, you know, Yeezy type clothing. Honestly, I think the whole Yeezy type clothing thing is way overpriced for the look. Like, pretty much it just has a bunch of holes and stuff in it. I don't really see the big deal. But I do really like the shoes. The shoes are my favorite. And me personally, I am saving up for a pair of Yeezys as of this time right now. All right, guys. So for the seventh fact that every Lil Yachty fan should know is that he was actually bullied constantly in high school school for his hair so most of you guys probably know Lil Yachty for his hair he's actually had that for a very long time because he does like the look and style of it in high school when he had that hair he was bullied a lot for this which honestly I don't really think is a big that big of a deal anymore but yeah Lil Yachty likes his hair so much that he actually went out of his way to get his hair insured he talked about this in an interview but he actually has insurance on his hair which is freaking crazy I didn't even know you can do that for the sixth fact that no one actually really knows but this is actually his real name 
So Lil Yachty actually doesn't really like to talk about his real name a lot. I, I honestly don't know why it's not that bad of a first name. Because I've seen, I've done other videos on rappers that has a lot like weird name than this. But Lil Yachty's actual real name is Miles Parks McCollum. So that is actually his real name. Like lots of people say it's otherwise, but no, that is actually his real name. I don't really know why it's a big deal without, you know, telling people your real name. Like my real name is Brandon, but like... Alright guys, so for the fifth fact that every Lil Yachty fan should know, as weird as this sounds, but Lil Yachty actually doesn't like boats at all. So if, when you think of Lil Yachty, obviously the first thing that comes to your mind is a yacht or like some type of a boat, but he actually doesn't like boats, like, at all. Like he literally before, like as soon as he got famous, that was the first time he actually seen a real boat. Now a lot of you guys may think this is a lie that he didn't get his name from like the boat Lil Yachty, but no, it's actually true because in high school, he was a part of a club called the Yacht Club in high school where it's pretty much just a bunch of like outsiders that was in high school that got together at lunch and that's was that's what they were called. He actually didn't get his name from the boat. It was actually from the club that he was in in high school called the Yacht Club, so Lil Yachty, it kind of just fits in. For the fourth fact, his popular hit song, Minnesota, was actually almost scrapped while making his album. When he was making his album, all his friends called the song trash and unusable, and clearly they were wrong, because that was actually one of his most played songs to this day. I don't know how many guys have actually listened to the song, but if you haven't already, I highly suggest that you go search up Minnesota by Lil Yachty on YouTube, and I guarantee you've heard it somewhere. It's been in multiple, like, memes, like, if you're, if you're into, like, memes and stuff like that, it's been in multiple memes. Like, I, that's where I originally found the song, was from a meme. Still, if you haven't heard this song yet, I highly suggest you do because it is unlike all of Lil Yachty's other songs. Alright guys, so if you're watching the video from this point right now, if you want to know what these last three facts are, I want you to comment down below saying Pepsi because I just want to see, you know, who actually wants to know these last three facts about Lil Yachty. All right, guys, so for the third fact that every Lil Yachty fan should know, like, this is something that you should know because if it wasn't for this, then probably would never have became a rapper who he is today. But Lil Yachty is actually a college dropout. He went to a college in Alabama for about two months before dropping out and let me tell you right now his mom was not happy about the idea that he wanted to pursue doing music instead of going to school. He stated in an interview that his mom actually didn't talk to him for almost a week after he dropped out of college just because he it wasn't him like obviously college isn't for everybody and college just wasn't for Lil Yachty. Now obviously I think that Lil Yachty made the right decision dropping out of college if he doesn't like it. The same with everybody else. Like there, I've done countless videos on rappers who all dropped out of college because they wanted to pursue you, uh, pursue music. Sorry, and Lil Yachty is just another one to add to the list. But obviously it worked out for him because he's now making millions of dollars at such a young age. All right, guys. So for the second fact that every Lil Yachty fan should know. Many of you guys have actually probably noticed this fact already, but Lil Yachty actually does not drink or smoke. Among other rappers, Yachty actually has to probably be the only one who doesn't do this kind of stuff. And that's because Lil Yachty actually has such a close relationship with his mom still. And he said in an interview, if he ever did drugs, my mom would kill me, which honestly is pretty much the same thing with me. But yeah, Lil Yachty is probably the only person like out of all of the rappers like right now that's blowing up that probably just doesn't do drugs. Now obviously XXX Tentacion doesn't but that's because he's on house arrest or something like that or I don't really I can't I can't remember what he was on but he is not allowed to drink or smoke but he does smoke cigarettes. I want you guys to tell me what you think about Lil Yachty not drinking or smoking down in the comments below. Honestly I think it's pretty cool because it's some different because every rapper nowadays does it so Lil Yachty, you know, he wants to stand out. He definitely does stand out with his hair, and now he does this too, which is awesome. All right, guys, so for the first fact that every Lil Yachty fan should know, I put this as first because this is actually something I had no idea of. I had a pretty good idea of all the other facts. I already knew all the other facts, but this one I actually had no idea. So for the first fact, Lil Yachty was actually arrested for using fraud credit cards to buy hats at a store named Lids. This was Yachty's first and only crime he's ever committed, but this is a huge and bad crime to have on. On your record. So Yachty was arrested with his friend named Clarence and they were actually released from jail on a $28,000 bail after being in jail for a couple weeks. Now when Lil Yachty and Clarence were arrested at, uh, I think it was Clarence's house, I didn't really read it all the way through, but Clarence, they had uh, up to 38 fraud credit cards that they stole or like mask. I'm not really sure how, how all that stuff works, but that is actually a pretty serious crime to commit seeing as, you know, they're stealing other people's money, but also they were only buying hats, so I'm pretty sure the jail went pretty easy on them. Like, if they were out buying, you know, Rolexes and stuff like that, obviously the jail, you know, they'd probably do a lot worse. 
but they were only buying ads. So guys, that has been the video. If you guys did enjoy, please smack a like on it. I would love to see like 400 likes on this video. If we can do that, that'd be awesome. Make sure you comment down below saying who you want me to make a video on next. Anyways, guys, it has been District Trending. Thank you guys so much for 30,000 subscribers. That is it. Peace out.